All right, we're back, round three. Third, final round. Yes, the third and final round. Actually, it will be the final round for the evening, maybe. Possibly. But that's okay, because we're going to win. 2 a.m. draft. 2 a.m. draft. There's going to be more to come. You will... Many of you might not know what a 2 a.m. draft is. I mean, besides the fact that it sounds fairly obvious it's a draft done at 2 a.m., but there's there's much more context to what a 2 a.m. draft actually entails. There'll be more to come. Hilarity will ensue. Right now, our opponent, Mercadia, is being a little slow, so I'm going to pause for a second. See when he or she comes back. Oh, whoa. All right. Never mind. Didn't even have a chance to pause. Um, this is a keep. Can't play Rick's Mahdi, but we can play Racto. Can't even play Racto Shred Freak. That sucks. We can play Tavern Swindler, which is good enough. No, we're not mulling. Good enough to start. Yep, good enough to start. Basically, any two drop is fine with me. All right. That's what I like to see. Tap land. And Swamp. It's cool with me. We can play Shred Freak. Which is what we're going to be doing. Ace. You know, yep. Putting in, coming faster. Always great. I'm not scared of that. Oh, Deviant Glee. Cast for black and a red. I could have cast it for black, black. I'd be more than thrilled if he blocked. But I guess it's not going to happen. Did I not play a land? No, I did. You that didn't. scared the hell yeah, out of me. Uh, Woo! Uh, Axe Bane Guardian. Uh-oh, this is going to be funny. Now, we can Deviant Glee our Rakdos Shred Freak. Um, or... Or Splatter Thug. But if we attack with Rakdos... The thing is, if we attack with Rakdos Shred Freak... When it's even lead, he'd be able to kill the Axe Bane Guardian, which I have a feeling... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep, we like that. Let's get rid of his... And we're still able to play Creature. Yes. Which I'm happy about. And granted, the Centaur, he's going to be able to make this coming turn. So now he's on 5 mana, which is not nice. Neither is that. Shit. Oh, no, it killed it. Okay, that's good. Okay, we got 2 for 1. That's fine. Okay. Populate. Sewer Shambler or Shred Freak? Um, I mean, Sewer Shambler or Splatter Thug? I mean, my thinking is potentially Splatter Thug because it kills everything, but Sewer Shambler is clearly able to get through. But I think we want to be killing things right now. Okay. And of course we have to go with the Foil one. Because if you have a Populate deck, you want to keep the population as low as possible. Yes, we do want to keep the population low. Don't give him. This defender thing. sucks though. But he's gonna be able to see the thing is he's gonna be Ooh, okay. Can he one, He two, can No. He can animate it. Or he can create a centaur. That's fine, because this way we'll play if we draw we just need to draw a land, actually. Or if we could draw an auger spree. Oh auger spree would be that great. Would be amazing. This is exactly the... Mm, no, because of that's blue. That sucks. Yeah, fuck that blue. Yeah, damn Why it. Why do we put that in there? I'd say we'd put another Spy Thug out there, honestly. Yeah, we attack first, though. Yes. Next turn, he populates, and there's two of them. And another sewer shaman, because I can just keep getting in, you know, regardless of the blocking. Because even if he gets big, like, that still just gets in, and in, and in. 
I think I think we do Sewer Shambler. Next turn, Guild Mage, and that that way we can just even because okay. chump like that, and then yeah, because that way we can be getting two in every single time, and then with that it's a third, with the and then a mage, fourth. You yeah, can exactly. Add in the extra damage that it's gonna take to get us there, because right now he can populate, which is gonna suck. Uh, we just take three here. Yeah, we just take three here. There's no sense in, in chumping when we don't have to. Who knows? We might get to the point where we need to use the trick with Tavern Swindler. It's never going to happen. It only happens for shits and giggles. That's not going to happen. And that's not going to happen because we're going to win. Okay. Man, what are you doing? How's he able to play that? Oh, okay. Whatever. Land. Not blue. Grim Roust above. See, now, see, this is okay, because we cannot unleash it. Correct. We just attack here. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine, because he can, Well, I mean, he can... Whatever it's called. But we're going to have to Grim Rust that out. Not unleashed. Actually, do we unleash it so that we can threaten attacks? No. Because then we also play Guild Mage here. No. Oh, no. Do we play Guild Mage? I think we wait. We keep him, his regeneration open. Yeah. And You're that right. way You're we right. can block something. Hell, we can even, I guess, double block and kill something if we want to, but that's a waste of... Alright, so we're working on a four-turn clock here. I'm actually kind of nervous at this round, I don't know why. <laughs> even though we're set up pretty well, and like we're our, our draws are live, even a land is actually pretty live for us. Because we can just um, we can unleash the splatter on I mean, the spawn of Rick's Mati, That's fine because it'll it'll be able to be bigger, and he'll have to double block it. Okay. Hmm. What's he got? Pump spell? Maybe. I say you tavern swindler to the key room. Yep. And then Grim Roust about and make him use his pump spell. That's if he's what, got it, if he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. If not, we take away a source of yeah, mana yeah. production and damage from him. So I'm more than happy. For and that then we regen the uh, Grimrose about. Correct. All right. Okay. Definitely happy with that trade. Yeah, that's fine with me. And another Maybe centaur. Populate? Yeah, another centaur. Ooh. Ooh, dear. Each player sacrifices a creature. Okay. I think we... He, he picks first. He's sacrificing that guy. I think we sacrificed the Grim Roustabout. You don't think the Splatter Thug? No, just because we can attack next turn with Splatter Thug. That's true, because he... Cause, like, he doesn't have a block. I mean, he has a block, but either of them are going to die. It's the only land I didn't want. We can still play the Spawner Brick's body, though. Yeah, exactly. Attack in from, with both of them. He's tapped out. He's gonna block the, or I think he blocked the Slum Reaper. Yeah. Otherwise, it puts him down too far. Spawn, not unleashed. Actually, do we unleash it? Because can he do? He can't populate. He can do as on the board. He can do six, seven, eight points of damage. Is there any way to do four more? I mean, there are ways to do four more. Oh, he's already at five, though. 
I think we no, we don't unleash. If we do unleash, he, if we don't unleash, he trades with the centaurs. True. If we unleash, he but if we do unleash and he has a trick, we're dead. It's true. Actually, if we don't unleash and he just, uh, we're not unleashing. We got this. We'll be able to tell. You unleashed. He just goes. Him. Yeah, I know. I did. Okay. I know. I realized okay, that. Great. I did that on purpose because I, I, I'm, my money's on. He doesn't have the trick. I'm willing to take the gamble because it puts us in. If he doesn't, my thinking is, if he doesn't have the trick, and he is unleashed, we're in a way better spot than I agree. if he didn't have the trick and we didn't unleash. I agree. Do you know what I mean? So like, that's even, exactly what I was saying. Yeah. About how like this whole cost benefit, where like there's basically four scenarios: we unleash and he has the trick, and we unleash and he doesn't have the trick, and then the same where we don't unleash. All right. He's attacking. Yeah. So clearly, there's no trick. I mean, I don't think he's going to be playing the trick. His 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 game is to overwhelm. Black or red is fine, actually, because what we can do is boom this guy, do an extra point of damage, and like kill whatever blocker he has. Does he have a flashling? Uh, black, white, green. What flash is there? No, I mean the only thing is that one trick. But does he? He doesn't have that trick. Rick's Mahdi. Because then this way we can use the. We just swing with everything here. He has to block. Blocks Dude. here. Blocks here. Green. It kills it. Kills it. And we can do its minus ability. Yeah. Like I said, have the trick. You got the trick, you got it. If you don't... I don't think we do... Um, no, I mean... No, I mean, I don't think we use the Rick Smotty additional thing. I think we play a Splatter Thug un... Unleashed? No, no, not unleashed. Yeah, that un way he un unleashed, locked. yeah. That way he leashed up. <laughs> yeah, leashed. <laughs> that way he can block if he needs to against... Unless he has like Druid's Deliverance. Swift Justice Lifelink. Plus one, kills our guy, he lives, suck. So he's gonna, but he'll gain three life right here. Give him. Yeah, I know. Or well, it's first strike though. But that's fine, because he, it'll be a three. He'll gain, th yeah. he'll gain three life. Yeah, be put up to eight, dies. but it'll die. Yeah, which is important. And but he'll still take five. You know, see, we had it either way. Because even though he'd go up to eight, he drop he dropped down to three. I don't know. Man. He could have. He yeah. could have continued that game. I I agree. It was very close. All right. Street spasm is going to do work for us. Traitorous instinct. Yeah, I like. I mean, I our, like what we're doing. We're good here. We're here. Yeah. We can do this. We've never we haven't played Annihilating Fire yet. Our street spasm. Yeah. So in order to street spasm for three, that's a lot. Six, seven, eight. That's a lot. This is a great. This is a fine hand. We have enough black that it's worth it. You know, without the red. Oh yeah, that's fine because we can. Like once we draw a red, whatever, like his V two guild guild mage. Um, and see we red. have a red. We should have played that red first. Okay, so the nine of fire. No. Um, we don't have anything that's double red. Frost frostburn weird. No, oh, you're right. We should have played frostburn weird. Because even if we played the red first, we could have played black to still play dagger dome in. But we could have had to 
draw another red and draw. No, because we have a blue for Frostbite. Oh, red. we do have a blue. Ooh, okay. What you playing, sir? Oh, x Pain Guardian? Sorry, our guy goes over the top. Do we auger spree it, though, is the question. No, I think we save our removal or something else. For something important? I mean, that is important because it's... He's able to get mana, but I think we wait. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you know, it would be a cool series of turns. would be play another land, whatever we attack, launch party or sewer shambler into whatever he plays. That's true, and then... And then scavenge onto the dagger domain. I say we just attack here. Yeah. What's he going to play? Nothing. Because we have... Oh, I don't have slime. I mean, unless... He doesn't have slime. No, unless he plays like Swift Justice on that, but okay, whatever. You play Swift Justice on that. Eyes in the skies. Okay. Because our dagger down. Yeah. Do we really auger spray? <laughs> A token? I'm fine with Augur Spring a token. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'm fine with Augur Spring a token. Alright. A 1 1 token. Augur Spring. Yeah. Because what we're gonna, what's gonna happen. So you're making Dagger Dome in your game plan right now. Well, no. Oh, he blocked with the Axe Bane Guardian, which sucks. Yeah. But that's fine. He probably took out his swamps. B2 gives me. Oh no. That sucks. He's populating. Yep. Um, All right. Yeah. I mean, really, we can even block with Sewer Shambler and then scavenge onto Dagger Domain. Yeah. Oh, but... You play those well now. Hmm. Block with the... Because the life link's gonna be worth more. Yeah, but does he have? Do you you know? I'm I don't want to get two for one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he has like that exile populate Tristani's whatever. Tristani's judgment. Yeah. Six mana. He has it up. Let's see. Let's see if he's got it. Come on, exile it. Do it. Oh. Okay. It's gonna wait for you to attack first. Oh. Alright, whatever. I'll do that. Oh, I played that wrong. I can't. I I wouldn't want to pump it anyway. But should have launched pretty your response. <sighs> Final combat damage that would be dealt to you this turn. Cool. And pump. Fine, bouncing off his centaurs. 
Man, Street Spasm would be sweet. Oh yeah, that's up. What am I taking seven this turn? Well, that sucks. He's pretty much had an answer for everything he's done, so. Or she. Who is the one? Because what. I mean, we're still not out of this completely. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're still not out of this completely. Because that's 12, I'm able to block one, and then I can kill another one. I take seven. Because with, with launch party. Hey, you know, stranger things have happened. Who knows? I could draw the... I could draw the next, like, street spasm. And that would just wipe his board. Actually, it wouldn't wipe his board. Because I would need eight. But, I mean, he knew we had launch party. We take seven, down to three. Stab wound. See if he, I mean, there's no sense in not playing it out right here. We got plenty of time. Maybe he reveals something, or she reveals something. Yep, concede game. Concede. Draw card. Racto, Shred Freak. Alright. So. Hmm. What is going to serve us better? Minotaur Aggressor. Yeah, no, definitely not that. It would. First strike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. We get to seven. What we need, well, we did get to seven, but what What do we, like, let's take a look. This is really good against his deck. Granted, we do have to get up to eight to wipe his board, but we can do that. Skullrend? No. Discard. Two cards. No. No. I mean, let's look at Pursuit of Flight, Deviant Charge. Like, would another Traitorous Instinct or Dino Charge be better? Then. Then, like, one of these. No, I think you want those enchantments. I mean, I think I think we're good. I think we just, I think we just go for it again. Yeah, we ship it back. We'd like to play first. I think we should have cut a land and put it in a charge. Uh, yeah, be hyper aggressive. Yeah, I mean, I, not, the only thing that we would need is the spawn, and then the, the streets fathom. Mm -hmm. But mm. yeah, that's true. I don't know. I like I like where we're at. Oh, I didn't mulligan because we've got perfect Frostburn and weird. Frostburn weird. He's the great two drop. We can stab wound whatever the play or sewer shambler. Now we're gonna Rakdos Guildgate. We're gonna attack and Rakdos Guildgate. No. I think we we sewer shambler. Yeah, keep him off of his his black for now, or at least make him think about playing it. Mm -hmm. Eyes in the sky is here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's fine. Guildgate, Splatter Thug. Yes. 
fast, aggressive start. Yep. So, team, what are we worried about him playing? I guess I think this guy, he does have an ultimate price. Um, That's true. Removable. But he needs black for that. He does need black for that. Do we, ooh, we, I mean, we can pursue to flight something up. I mean, pursue to flight. Splatter thug. I like that. First strike, give it a make it a big swing. I'm not gonna die to the other stuff that he has. Makes it a very formable. And then we pump Frostburn Weird twice. Yeah. Eyes in the skies? Yep. Totally okay. No, that's fine with me. He blocks here and then Yep. Yep. That makes sense. Pump our guy twice. Two damage in. Three damage in. Three damage. And then it trades both of the guys. Even if he draws black and then ultimate price price prices this guy. Yep, spawn. just attack in. Play spawn. Pump it once. Right. Yep, pump once, play spawn. Something's happening. Yeah. No. I mean, alternatively, we could have scavenged the sewer shambler onto mm -hmm. the. Yeah, Druid's deliverance, that's fine. I don't think we scavenged yet. No. I think we don't we need to. For him to use it is all my price. If we don't need, if we don't need this scavenge, we don't need it. well, yeah, I mean, but that's why we'd be, uh, yes, that's why we'd be scavenging either onto Frostburn Weird or Spawn Bricks Mati, because the only one I can target is Splatter Thug. True. I mean, we just attack here. Yeah. I mean, he's going to run out of those tricks eventually. The Druid's Deliverance. And those cards are good, but without a Populate. Okay, whatever. And he has to block both of them. Yeah. I think. Unless he's just going to keep, like, what is that? Rootborn Defensing? Yeah. Which, perhaps, but I think this... Yep. And then we can stab wound whatever else he plays. If worse comes to worse, we just sit and wait for a stab wound to do its work. Yeah. Which would be the really dick move, and just just to do it that way. But you know. That's, yeah, what, it that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. I mean, annihilating fire would be fine. Something big and mean. What do you? This is my upkeep. He's playing something on my upkeep. Tristani's okay. Populate two. Oh, this is game over then. Two game three. Trample here. Trample. Or just pump that. <laughs> There's so many things we can do. Woo! All right, good job. Way to go. Good job, crew. Oh wait, season twelve. Oh yeah, season twelve. All right, well, yeah, we won back. Eight packs. Good job. Way to go.